not going to happen. I don't want to do that. Must give me more. Starkhaven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the prince's seat, but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? At the Blooming Rose, 50 silver's standard for a whore. You'll hardly find my services standard. Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian! You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. Not if it meant selling out my family. How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen. Masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands, the same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions, but they couldn't stop you from wanting them. You and Lady Harriman are fighting for the same thing, aren't you? Regaining my birthright is hardly the same as stealing it from another. But you want it. You had resigned yourself to letting your brother rule. Yet now, that seat glitters before you. You've always wanted it. You needn't deny it any longer. All you have to do is kill anyone in your way. Silence, Temptress. Your whispers led our allies astray. You're the only one I must kill!
return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Let us return to the Chantry. Sebastian! I am so, so... Sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do... What those creatures made us do... We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made Mother too confident. She thought she could deal with a demon and not fall prey to it. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. So you get all the debauchery and none of the blame? Do not suggest I did this by choice. It's a demon of desire, Flora, not coercion. It can't tempt you with anything you truly don't want. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No. That's true. I'll tell you when I need you. Have you heard the Chant of Light? That's the song they sing at the Chantry, right? It's pretty, but a little repetitive. The Chantry is so tall. <sighs> How do you suppose they take all those banners down to clean them? I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demon's touch, but I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. Wash behind the ears. Evil usually gets stuck there. The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be prince. Now everything he had is mine, and he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right, or simply to have what I never thought I could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were... rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will? At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, ashamed to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. Killing a few hundred more bandits ought to help you make up your mind. You do have a unique way of working out your inner struggles, Hawk. 
Enough of this. I will make no decision today. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company men did some looting. I figured I'd return the favor. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the isolate of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. You can't shoot your family at a charging bandit and stop him dead between the eyes. Do you hold nothing sacred, Hawk? Still, I'll stop dwelling on what can't be fixed and appreciate this gift you found for me. I look forward to testing it. You've had many lovers, haven't you? Fewer than some think. But you never stay with them. No, why should I? But the act of lovemaking is so... intimate. I don't make love. What I do is only skin deep, kitten. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Hunters. Stop right there! You are in possession of stolen property! Back away from the slave now and you'll be spared! They'll never learn, will they? <laughs> Where is he? Please, don't kill me. Oh, Tell me! I don't know. I don't know, I swear. Adriana brought us. She's at the holding caves north of the city. I can show you the way. No need. I know which ones you speak of. Then let me go. I beg you. I swear You chose I won't... the wrong master. Uh. Hadriana. I was a fool to think I was free. They'll never let me be. Then why are we standing around? The holding caves held slaves in the old times, but apparently they are no longer abandoned. We must go quickly, before Hadriana has a chance to prepare, or flee.
Shall I give it a go? We must be careful. There were many such holdings once, especially in the mountains where individual slavers kept private pens. They were designed to protect against raids by fellow slavers. No doubt it's why Hadriana chose this place. Do slavers attack each other often? They did. What better way to find slaves than to steal them? The holdings outside of Tevinter have mostly been abandoned, but they still exist. Adriana won't escape us. Let's hope this isn't a waste of time. They're still here. Good. <laughs> 